Hey guys, today I want to do a little bit of a behind the scenes of making Instagram videos and especially makeup tutorials. I make a lot of makeup tutorials on Instagram and I want to share with you a few things that I think you guys should know. First of all, if I make an Instagram video, it's about 45 minutes to one hour in reality. But then when I have to put it on the gram, it's 60 seconds and that is very hard. I mean, editing the video is so hard because I want to show everything, but I can because there is a time limit. So it takes a lot of time to edit the video. And then another thing, I try to make an Instagram video as interesting as possible. And I do that by using a thumbnail. I'm not the only one. Everyone does that because especially with makeup, I see that the more extreme the thumbnail, the more likely people to click on that video and watch it because they're interested in the video. They want to see what it is, what is going to happen, what the end result will be. So that is very, very important. And sometimes thumbnails can get a little bit out of hand. Um, I remember making uh, an Instagram video where I contoured my face, like very extreme concealer under my eyes, contour, liquid highlighter, everything on my face. And I stopped while I was recording. I stopped, I have my laptop up here um, and I have EOS utility where I can see what I'm doing and I can also make a picture at the same time. When I make Instagram videos, my thumbnail is always a picture. You can choose your thumbnail uh, on Instagram if you want to, but if you make a picture, the quality will be better and that way um, you can make a better thumbnail. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to make my thumbnail as interested as possible because of course you want people to watch it. And same goes for YouTube videos. But the thing is that I'm gonna focus on extreme contouring and extreme highlighting is that there is a lot that you don't see. So you see me and other people with extreme makeup on their face and then after like 50 seconds, everything is like perfect. And then everyone will be like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. The makeup looks gorgeous, but you don't see what is actually going on and how the makeup actually looks like. I don't know if it's unfair to make videos like this, I like to make videos like this and I'm still going to do that. But I want to show you guys because the most important thing is that if you see extreme videos, please do not copy that because first of all, makeup on camera looks different than in person. There is a huge difference because if I use a lot of makeup right here, I have my camera, I have my lighting and it will look good on camera. But sometimes when I take my mirror, I'm like, wow, that is a little bit too much. So if you see somebody using a certain amount of makeup, try to use less because most of the times that will look more pretty. And to be honest, that's what I do when I do my makeup off camera. So keep that in mind. On camera, we use a bit more makeup than in real life. That being said, I am going to do an extreme contouring on my face like I would do an in Instagram videos and then I'm going to blend it out using my brush and my beauty blender and then you will see how it actually looks like and I will tell you in between where I would cut the video and I will, and I would leave some parts out of it because you know you need to blend a little bit more than just two seconds, make that two minutes. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with priming my face and I'm gonna use the Smashbox oil and we're gonna do it the Instagram way, applying it like this. Ooh, the tickles actually. Ooh. And just blending it with my hands. This is nothing special. Oh, it's in my mouth. Oh. Oh my God, it's in my brows. A video never goes the way I want it to be because now my eyebrow is tickling. I can feel the oil, but I don't want to rub because I'm going to mess up my brows. Welcome to my life, guys. Welcome to my life. All right, so this step is real. This is what I would do. Just apply the primer all over the face. Nothing special. All right, we're good. Next step is foundation. I'm using the Burn This Way by Too Faced. Um, I'm gonna use the color sand and add a little bit of caramel because I think sand is still a bit too light. Oh, do you see that? Like the oil is dripping out of my eyebrow. 
No. Oh, shit. Is that going to be a new trend? Or the eyebrows? No, I don't think so. All right, a little bit of caramel. I'm gonna mix it and then apply it on my face. Wow, do you see that? My two mountains. Great. Bye. All right, nothing special going on right here. Just applying the foundation and then I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Face Expert brush to blend it all out. This was actually my first foundation brush and I still have the same one. It is amazing, I love it. But back in the days, I used to use cream foundation, the one by Kevin something. Very, very full coverage. I think it's actually a concealer, I don't know. The Sensual Skin Enhancer, but I don't like that anymore. Not as a foundation. All right. And of course, on an Instagram video, I'm not gonna show everything how I blend it out because it just takes too much time. Is it too dark? I don't know. Taking my beauty blender. Sometimes I show this in my videos and sometimes I don't. Um, keep in mind that whenever you see a video of me applying my foundation using a brush, I always go over it with a beauty blender. And yes, I have to clean it. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh. Always. Always, always, always. All right, so now we're gonna go to the interesting part by contouring and highlighting. And to contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa. And to highlight, I'm using or conceal uh, the Tarte Shape Tip in Medium. First of all, when I contour my face in real life, I never apply my contour and concealer at the same time. Why? Because concealer dries. And most of the time, Concealer looks better if you applied it and then uh, blend it out immediately and don't let it sit underneath your eyes because it's gonna dry and it's not gonna look good. But for the gram, we're doing it. Making my lips bigger, although I have lip fillers. Because you know it makes the thumbnail interesting. And the nose. It's not even a straight line. <laughs> All right, we're done with contouring. Um, let's now highlight. And I'm already regretting using this one because I'm going to take up this makeup when I'm done filming. And my shape tape is not a very cheap concealer and it's almost finished. All right, so this is a face that you see a lot of times on Instagram, right? This is it. So this is where I stop. When I'm filming, I look at my screen. I'm like, okay, I think this is an interesting thumbnail. And then I go like, I want you guys to look, you know? So that's where I stop to make the pictures to uh, use as my thumbnail. And then when I'm done taking pictures, I'm actually going to blend it out. I'm not judging because I <laughs> make those videos as well, but there is one type of video that I cannot deal with. You know, when people, for example, wanted to show you how they do their brows, it's an Instagram video, and they start up, their thumbnail is a razor, razor blade, how do you call it? Yeah, and they hold it, they, use that as a thumbnail and then when the actual video starts they're like no use a tweezer i'm like come on that is way too obvious that it was just for your thumbnail because it's not real can i say that yeah it's not real because you're not using it so it's not real this is kind of not real i'm not making sense today okay let's start with the actual blending and then i would go like this and then i would stop this is what i would record and then take my Beauty Blender and go over it or 
my foundation brush because it is way too much product and you don't need that just to make it a little bit softer because otherwise you would still be a complete clown you know this is this is okay and then I take my brush again and then I just go over it and it actually looks like I blended it out with just this and I didn't but that's how we do it that's how I do it to the cheeks wow Do you see what happens if you use that much product, especially a very pigmented product? It is kind of impossible to just blend it out with a brush and to make it look seamless. You can't because this is what happens and it's a pretty small brush and if the brush was bigger it would be all over my face. So you need to go in with your beauty blender and brush to... Oh. To kind of make it softer because th this looks terrible this is what I would do and I'm gonna blend out the concealer as well because otherwise the mess will be way too big do you see what I mean that you need to you need to Use your beauty blender. This is how my face would look like. Come on. I actually took another blender to blend out my uh, concealer because the other one was completely brown and otherwise it will be messing up my concealer and I don't want that. Do you see how hard it is to blend this out? Because there's way too much product on my face. It's actually a waste of product. That's what it is. Going back in. And when I look at the mirror, it's still way too brown. So what I would do is take my foundation in between. Adding a little bit on my brush and go like this. But you don't see that. So yeah. And I always have my small mirror and I always hold it like this. This is the part where you guys don't see because there is a difference between the big mirror and me. So to see if everything is nice. Yes, it is. Do you guys see that actually a lot of the products that I applied on my face, it's just a waste of product because I blended it out so much, went over it with foundation because it was just too much product. Okay, so half of my face is done. Let's now do the nose. This is my favorite part because when you see people with two stripes on their nose with a pigmented product, it looks so perfect. They start like this. This is actually the brush that I always do to contour my nose. But I always start with a liquid product like this to contour my nose. But I never ever apply my nose highlight at the same time. Wow, this looks extreme. Do you see? It, it's not pretty. It's too much. Taking the blender again and then pressing onto it to really soften it because it's, it's too much. And then in, for the video, I would just go back with the brush to actually make it look like I just used my brush. It's actually not fair, right? I'm sorry. Then the nose highlight. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, but I always take the nose highlighter, the concealer, and then applying it and I would leave it on for I don't know a few minutes uh, because it dries a little bit that's actually true because I let this sit on my nose for a few minutes all the time because it dries and then it doesn't go anywhere it just stays the way it is if that makes sense all right blend it blend it blend it because we didn't set it yet blending the mouth area this is actually 
what I do. Not the upper lip, but my lower lip. Just, uh, you know, make those lips stand out. Like they're not big enough. All right, so I'm taking my blender again, and then I am quickly going to set it. Sometimes I show it, and sometimes I don't, because uh, it's actually an unnecessary part. Everyone sets their concealer, right? Um, it is the RCMA powder, but I put it in my um, Bobbi Brown thing because it's more it, because it's better than this one. I don't like this; it doesn't work for me. Um, I take my Morphe M438, and then I tap off the excess and apply it just underneath my eyes. I am going in with liquid highlighter, so I'm not gonna bake and I'm not gonna apply it entirely underneath my eyes. Just a little bit. Okay, so now it is time to blend out the concealer on my nose. And then it's still a bit harsh. Do you see those brown stripes? Did I just make my nose look bigger? <laughs> I think so. Let's press on it. All right, so this is actually the part where I'm like, it's good, but did you see how many things I had to do to achieve all of this and how much product I blended away? Let's go to another favorite part of mine, the liquid highlighter. We all know it using way too much because the highlighter needs to drip on my face because that is the amount that we need. Are you kidding me? Of course it's not. This is enough for like four days of highlighter because you don't need it underneath your eyes. Well, actually, sometimes I do like it underneath my eyes. I'm kind of weird. This is also very Instagram, right? Just going to catch it. Catch me a bubble. And this, ooh. This is what it actually looks like when you use that much highlighter and you blend it out. So unnecessary. And then what I do, I just got me some toilet paper because there is still way too much highlighter on my beauty blender. I just, you know, wipe it away, kind of, and then go back in with the beauty blender to, oh, it's dry. Shit. <laughs> Crap. I feel like I'm punching myself. I am pressing so hard on my face with this sponge because it has dried up a little bit okay so of course it's not necessary to have your highlighter up here but that is what happens when you use that much highlighter so foundation brush again no additional product and then i just tap over the areas where i don't need it but for the thumbnail it looked very cute i think yeah all right so this is the situation um oh wait let me grab some powder for my face um Contouring powder and I don't know some stuff. I have my uh, Sigma large powder brush and my Mac Studio fix powder and I'm just going over this area especially on the sides of my nose because that's where there was too much liquid highlighter um, So I'm gonna Make that a little bit less noticeable A little bit up here And we're good by the way, um, the intro of this video, I told you that maybe the um, makeup look and my hair would be different, but I just decided that I'm just going to film the video again because I'm already doing it, so why make it hard for myself? All right, because contouring with my Pro Conceal was not enough, I always go over with a powder highlight, and that's actually what I always do because it's just going to make it a little bit more intense. Not always, but when I go out, I always do that. And I'm using the JLo Inglot um, in collaboration with Inglot, wow, <laughs> sculpting powder in Coco One, and my favorite Morphe M530. And then I just go over it like that. Oh, this is so ugly. I use a lot, by the way. All right. This is going to be a long video because I don't want to edit it. Edit it. 
For highlighter, I'm going to use Nikki Tutorial Glow Goals with Ofra Cosmetics. And I'm applying it up there. This is such a great highlighter. I love it. This is also what I would normally do. Apply a liquid highlighter and then go over it with a powder. Kind of looks messy though. Then I go back with my contouring brush. Go like this. Yeah, and then we're gonna bake using the RCMA powder. By the way, I said that I am not going to cut the video, but Wow, yeah, uh, but <coughs> wow, but of course I am going to cut the parts where I have to get up and grab some stuff, but not the makeup thing. Oof. Yeah. Normally I just wipe it away after a few seconds. I like that better. Okay, uh, what's left to do? I'm gonna grab my mascara, apply it, and then do my lips. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and I'm taking my MAC 221. There is still a little bit of product on the brush. Um, it's the same color that I have in my upper crease from the Morphe palette. Yeah, Morphe palette. Ooh. Uh, grabbing my MAC Feline, which is my favorite. Uh, I need to get me a new one. And then I'm applying it on my waterline. I don't always show this part because, oh, oh shit. To be honest with you guys, there is no video that I ever made that went perfect. I always mess up, I break things, I drop things. I don't know. I think it's just a part of who I am and I need to deal with that. Going in with mascara, this is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. Which is my fave. Sometimes I show mascara in my YouTube videos, in my Instagram videos, but then like two seconds because I think this part is boring as hell. Oh, it's kind of a stripe. And this time I am talking, but the good thing about YouTube videos hello Instagram videos is that I don't need to talk and um, as you may know as you may hear English is not my first language I speak Dutch I think in Dutch so I make a lot of mistakes and then I have to say things again you know because I have to translate everything in my head okay it's not that easy by the way if I do decide to speed some parts of this video, I will put it somewhere on the screen so you will know. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so the last step is lips and I'm gonna use Trust Issues by Anastasia. This is also a very boring part because it takes me a lot of time to do my lips. I'm gonna speed it. is the part where I go like you know I always do the wing because I think it's sexy this is actually the video this is the end result this is what you see um, but as you can tell there is a lot of things that I have to do before I can achieve this makeup look so yeah guys that was the video that was a little bit of a behind the scenes of making an Instagram video I just wanted to share with you guys how it goes and that it's not 60 seconds of makeup it takes a lot more time it takes a lot more time to edit the videos but it's cool 
I'm still going to make this video, those extreme ones. I just want to show you guys how it really goes because of the amount of makeup. So please do not copy everything you see. Try to use less makeup. That's what I do in real life. And on camera, I just have to use a little bit more. So yeah, that was my video. It was a total different video than a makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit helpful. And if you want me to make a video on how I actually edit my videos on my laptop, my Instagram videos or YouTube videos, I don't mind, or my lighting, whatever, let me know in the comments down below and um, I will shoot that video, of course. And if there's anything you wanna ask me or tell me, please feel free. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and please uh, before I'm going to end this video don't be offended I, I'm not trying to offend anyone because I myself make videos like this and I'm not gonna stop making videos like this because let's be honest I try to make my thumbnail as interesting as possible for YouTube for Instagram why because I want people to click on my videos that's how it is I'm not gonna lie about that that's the way it is so yeah I love you guys I want to thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my new video